I feel you, Micah. I got enemies, got a lot of enemies. <laughs> I do not have an issue with what Micah Parsons is saying at all. Not at all whatsoever. I got no issue, big bro. I got no issue, Joy Taylor. I got no issue, Dave Hellman. Micah Parsons, and Von Miller said it too, was sitting here looking like, look, the Eagles are an incredibly, incredibly talented team. What that means is the Eagles have an incredible, incredibly stacked roster. Kudos to Howie Roseman. Kudos to the rest of the Eagles players. And kudos to Jalen Hurts. Let's not be so quick to get offended that a compliment to other people is deemed is a slight to Jalen Hurts. Is it Jalen Hurts or is it the team? It's a fair question. Mm. The Eagles might have the best right tackle in football. They might have the best center in all of football. They have a top three wide receiver currently in all of football. As far as number two wide receivers, they probably have the best or the second best number two wide receiver in football. They got a thousand yard rusher for the first time since 2014. Our very own LaShawn McCoy was the last thousand yard rusher. A 10 touchdown receiver for the first time since 2014. Jeremy Macklin was a 10 touchdown receiver. So the Eagles have the best rusher they've had since 2014 statistically. The best receiver they've had since 2014, statistically. The best offensive line they've had probably in Howie Roseman's tenure. Dare I ask, if I'm Mark, Micah Parsons, is it the team or Jalen Hurts? I think it's fair. I think it's fair, and I respect him for speaking his mind. <laughs> Joy Taylor, I respect you for speaking yours as well. Micah's comments, fair or foul? They're obviously foul, but not because Micah shouldn't speak his mind. I'll be damned if someone tells me I can't say what I want to say. So by all means, if this is how he feels, get it off your chest, Micah. <laughs> but people are going to react to opinions. That's what we do every day. True. People react every day. Mm. So this is what it is. We're going to react to Micah's opinion that he is unsure if the Eagles are good because of Jalen Hurts or because Ooh, of the team? Wee. Are we yeah. contextualizing that <laughs> properly? Am I misquoting Micah in any way? Not that I'm aware, no. no. Okay. Here's the problem I have with this. When a guy has nobody, you have to be Justin Herbert, right? Mm -hmm. For us to say that you are good. Mm -hmm. And you still don't, don't win, still don't make the playoffs. So how good are you? Mm -hmm. That's the conversation. That's when good. you win with a good team around you, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, it's everyone else like and it's not you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> I suspected this was going to happen with Jalen Hurts, and this does tend to happen with dual-threat quarterbacks, which is disappointing because I think without his 10 rushing touchdowns, Ooh, they would it. not be mm. where they are. It's a lot. <laughs> he is at the top of the MVP. To mm. be clear, that's the best player in the league. Mm -hmm. He's at the top of the MVP race right now. Barring some collapse by the Eagles, which I don't think any of us anticipate, he will probably win the MVP or at the very least come in second for MVP. Mm -hmm. At the most important position in the NFL. Yeah. Come on now. So I'm just, I'm confused because you would have to say that for this to be true, that mm -hmm. it's the team and not Jalen, that if Jalen was not playing quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles and his replacement was in, they would be just as good. Mm. Do you believe that? Not at all. Do no. you believe that? Not a chance. Do you believe that? Not a of chance. Of course not. <laughs> okay, so then it's foul not. because it's yes. not true. It, in order for this statement to be factually correct, mm -hmm. Jalen Hurts is replaceable right now with this roster and they would be where they are, mm. which is not true. Do you want to, I mean, go ahead. I know how you feel. I think we're going to agree about this. I just, if I can do anything, I think I've said this before, if I can do anything while I'm on this show, I want to dispel this idea that, like, you don't need help to be a good quarterback. Right. Who are all of these quarterbacks that are doing it with no help? Joy just brought up Justin Herbert. He finally looked good the other night because he got Keenan Allen and Mike Williams back in the mm. lineup. Mm -hmm. We were dogging on him for losing and looking like trash before that. Who, uh, where else can I go? Patrick Mahomes has played with multiple Hall of Famers with an S. Like, that is important. Tom Brady ascended into this elite category of passer when Randy Moss wound up on his team. Mm. Let's not get that twisted. James Jones is here today. Mm. Who did he play with? Oh, talk to him. Who did Aaron Rodgers have at the beginning of his career? And what does Aaron Rodgers look like right now when he doesn't have a ton of help? It's okay Ooh. to say that you need help. 
Who are all of these quarterbacks that are doing it without it? Like, everybody loves to do that. I can bring it back to the Cowboys like I love to do. Micah's own guy, Dak Prescott, had a wonderful offensive line mm -hmm. and an amazing running game at the start of his career, mm -hmm. fell off. And what did the Cowboys do? They went and got Amari Cooper. Mm. He got a hell of a lot better when he had him. Sound effects, okay. Top five <laughs> draft pick. <laughs> Top Top school. School. It is Top not school. an indictment on a quarterback to say that he looks better because he's got good players around. Not. But it's also not an indictment, James Jones or Dave Hellman, because you were just speaking to ask the question. You and I worked together in 2016. Don't you lie on national television. I would never. We were in Dallas. Okay. Working for the Cowboys, yeah. Dak Prescott. Yeah. He had 23 touchdowns, four interceptions. Mm -hmm. Then he had six rushing touchdowns as well. I believe he had 30 total touchdowns and four picks. Yeah. Cowboys were 13 and three. Yeah. 13 and three, number one in the division. Yeah. And everybody asked, yeah. is it Dak Prescott? Yeah. Or is it the roster? And we didn't all freak out because somebody asked the question. So James, why are you freaking out? It's, it's a little different and, I, and I'm freaking out because number one, <laughs> right, is foul. And it's disrespectful. Oh, my God. What else does the young fella have to do? His team is 12-1. and one. You spoke of the run game. Yes, sir. He is not a 1,000 rusher with Minshew in there, right? No, because sir. Because you have to account for whose legs? Jalen Hurts. And who does that free up, right? Yes, that sir. frees up Miles Sanders does, and it's sir. less people in the box. Yes, sir. So credit him for the 1,000-yard rusher. Okay. You talk about the receivers. Okay. Who throwing them the ball? Right? And these balls, I mean, he's throwing them open. Mm -hmm. Like his passing percentage, completion percentage is top of the league. It is for they are in, best. They are in the position they are in because of the quarterback position. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's disrespectful because you're saying you're a student of the game. Yep. You're saying you watch a film, yep. Micah. Obviously not. Don't because do that. No, no, Don't no. I am going to do that because when you turn the <laughs> tape on that. of Jalen Hurts, he's playing the best football of any quarterback in the National Football League right now. And that is why he is up for the MVP. So you're not really watching the tape. Because what he does for this offense is everything. He helps the pass game. He helps the run game. He helps the O line with him moving the pocket question. and getting out of the pocket. I, have I mean, he, a he, question. he's third and something in rushing Will yards as a quarterback. Question, please, I'm waiting on your question. I'm listening to you, brother. <laughs> Goodness gracious. You said Mike I'm just amped up right now. If you're Micah Parsons and you're looking at the tape, and you're saying, wait a second, that's the touchdown, I believe, that gave the Eagles their points into the 30s. The game was over. Yeah. You're like, wait a second, that counts as a 10-yard rushing touchdown for Jalen, 10 more yards for Jalen, boosts his rushing average. But you're like, that wasn't Jalen Hurts. If you are Micah Parsons, is, you are saying, that's Jason Kelsey, that's Nick Sirianni, that's Lane Johnson. You're not looking at that play going like, oh, my God, why them, Why them linebackers dropping out of there like that? Miles Sanders went in motion. Because the fear of the pass, too, because he can do it all. They are in this position because of Jalen Hurts. Listen, Micah. It's disrespectful, bro, and you know it. I'm looking dead at you in camera number two right now. It's disrespectful, <laughs> bro. What you just said about him on a podcast talking to, I don't, it's disrespectful. This man is balling right now at an MVP level. You know what you was getting at. You know what you was getting at. You basically saying he's not that dude, it's everybody around him. That's disrespectful. Joy, I got Jalen a Hurts is an MVP. I got a question, Joy. Um, if not LeBron James, let me not get into a debate. If not LeBron James, who's the greatest basketball player of all time? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Duh, Michael Jordan. That's an easy question. Greatest basketball player of all time. Okay, but what I'm glad we... you said you don't want to get into it. <laughs> I was going to say, like, <laughs> you no, worded that poorly for not wanting to get into it. <laughs> not LeBron James. I don't want to get into LeBron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Michael Jordan, obviously. Yeah. But what do we always say? Man, would Michael have won six without Scotty? Man, because Michael didn't win before no, Scotty. everyone doesn't say that. Mm, uh, you've heard it in barbershops? Because I've heard it. I just want to make sure I ain't tripping. I heard right, I've heard the heard question. It. Now, I won't say everyone. The person who speaks in absolutes is an absolute liar. So I will not say everyone. But in several conversations, man, Michael ain't winning without Scotty. Would Michael have won without Scotty? I don't think it's a slight to ask the question. We're not saying Michael's not one of the greatest, if not the greatest player of all time. We're just saying when you have elite help, then maybe I can ask the question, would you be doing as well? You mean like <sighs> LeBron James with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh? Yes. Oh. You mean like LeBron James with Anthony Davis? Absolutely. You mean like LeBron James with Kyrie, Kyrie Irving? Irving? Yes, lesser than, but yes. Okay, the reason that happens is because football and basketball are team sports. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're right. So there will be other good players on championship but, teams. But my thing is, is... Why we keep doing this to Jalen Hurts? Because we don't do Jaylen, it to Patrick Jaylen, Mahomes, and he has yes, all this talent because around Jaylen him. Because Jalen is, Jalen is, Jalen is put into a space 
They, people haven't updated their version of Jalen Hurts. They haven't Bingo. upgraded their phone. They still think and use the, the software of Jalen Hurts from last year. And you know and why? Because they're not watching tape. He is significantly Thank you. better than he was last year. But in people's minds, mm. maybe because they haven't watched enough of the Eagles play this year, or maybe because they are looking at the roster, or they're just paying attention to the A.J. Brown edition. But if you truly watch this team... And you don't have to break down tape. Like, let's look at everyone's like, you're not breaking down tape. Okay. Hi highlights on Twitter are not breaking down tape. If you just watch this team, you can see, and if you look at the statistics and the different versions in which they are winning games, it is not just that Jalen Hurts is running the ball and using his legs. That does make them a more dynamic offense and make him dangerous, but he is also throwing the ball at a high mm. level as well, which he wasn't necessarily doing last year. Sure. So to me, I think people are just a prisoner of the yeah. version that they had of Jalen Hurts last year, and they haven't upgraded it. Now, and I don't know whose app they're using where it doesn't say that the Philadelphia Eagles aren't still the best team in football, even record-wise by a large margin. So you might just want to pay attention to why that's happening. The only reason why I ask that is because we sit up here and we talk about Tua mm -hmm. when they started off with a hot start. Oh, yes, shoot. Tua back. Got a coach that believe in him. He up for MVP. He this, he that, he that. Daniel Jones started off hot start. Oh, he finally got him a coach calling him to plays, doing this. But when you talk Jalen Hurts and his team is 12, we don't hear none of that. It's the people an answer, around him. I have, an answer, it, come on, I have an answer for you, but Dave, chime in first. I will get back to that cliffhanger. Go ahead. I just think, like, it, it's it's fair to, like, like Von Miller said in the clip, like, it's, it's okay if both of these things are true. Like, part of the reason Jalen Hurts looks good is that his supporting cast is very good. First of all, that's the Eagles' job. That is mm -hmm. literally right. the point of an NFL front office. And Jalen Hurts doesn't have to apologize for having Absolutely not. And on top of that, my thing, if you remember, I said this on this show in August. I thought Jalen Hurts was the third-year quarterback with the most pressure on him yep. because he was a second-round pick, no fifth-year option, a, a GM that loves to get new quarterbacks in the building. There was no guarantee that this guy was the quarterback of the future. And they set it up, and they said, hey, dude, Everything's right except for you. You have a chance to go and grab control. And it's not even like the Eagles are okay. They're the best team in the yeah. league. Yep. And he, it's not like, watch them play. It's Any not like reason. he ain't a passenger on no. this ride. No. So to say that it's not him. He didn't is, say that. Okay, to say that he is a huge part. Stop it, question, yeah, In asking the question, yeah. In asking the question, he is inferring that this is a, the very least a possibility. Sure. And, the, and, like, let's not try and come up with a different, like, excuses for this. Like, He's, he, we all know what he's saying. You don't saying. ask the question if, if you, you don't, don't kind of think what you're yeah, let, let me, saying. Let me answer your question before we get out of here. One, I believe we can all assume Michael Parsons watches tape. Yes, yes, sure. Something, uh, sure something. Yeah, so yeah, Michael baller. Parsons ain't just spewing nonsense for no good reason. Oh, you're but we all have access to the same tape, Michael Parsons. Yeah. We don't. We don't. And we don't definitely don't. Because Michael Parsons, you know, in teams, they got they got <laughs> access. I'm saying we all watch the same games. Yes. That Michael but, Parsons yes. plays in. But there's a they're difference. not like playing in like a secret hidden league. No, yeah. but there's a difference <laughs> between watching the game and watching tape. That's what there's there is a difference there. Okay. James, let me get to your question. Mm -hmm. If you are a defender looking at Jalen Hurts, the reason I believe people do it is because Jalen Hurts, he impacts you and he bludgeons you, but I do not believe that he scares you. Everybody take a breath. Okay. Why do I say that? I'm take a deep one. Why do I say that? DBs, I would assume a defensive back would rather face DeAndre Hopkins and Cooper Cup. I would assume. That's just my assumption. I feel like that's Over a safe AJ thing. Brown and... DeAndre Hopkins over uh, guarding Cooper Cup. I believe they would rather, excuse me, I believe they'd rather guard Cooper Cup than guard DeAndre Hopkins if you pull most defensive backs. Okay. But Cooper Cup gonna get busy. He gonna give you more numbers than DeAndre Hopkins. He gonna get oh. busy. But Cooper Cup's not as scary as DeAndre Hopkins. Let me personalize it. Mm. I had to see uh, Justin Blackman and Des Bryant in college. Mm. Not professional, those two. Mm. College, those two. Nightmares. Yeah. Justin Blackman wasn't scaring nobody. Mm. Des Bryant was. You want to know who gave us that work? Mm. Justin Blackman, what? who was a higher draft pick. Mm. Justin Blackman. The point I'm making is Jalen Hurts gets crazy numbers, but I don't think he's as scary as Patrick Mahomes. I don't think defenders are as afraid of him as Justin Herbert. I don't think defenders are afraid of him as Lamar Jackson. So for that reason, Joy, I think they're well, saying Lamar like, Jackson, oh, he's good. Lamar Jackson is a league MVP. Patrick Mahomes is a league MVP mm. and has won a Super Bowl. Mm. We're not putting Jalen Hurts in that category. He has more to do in this league. And I think Jalen Hurts would agree with he that. He does have more to do but, in but, this league. But this season, 
Right now, the way that the version today of Jalen Hurts is different than the last two years. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't updated your materials, that's your fault. But the roster's different, And too. if you don't want to be afraid of Jalen Hurts, that's not Jalen Hurts' problem. Because so far, they've beaten everybody who mm. isn't afraid of them, except for one mm. team, because they did nothing but make mistakes all oh, day. Man. So, and, and, and yeah. the best part of this Come for on. all of us is next week, mm. we're going to get to see. Man. We're going we to get to see. And I think that's the problem. Right? They're not scared of him. And you should That's be. That's what I'm saying. Why because are you not scared of him? Because he is a problem. Because to be honest with you, right, defensive coordinators don't lose their sleep over JoJo Burrow, and I know JoJo's special, over Patrick Mahomes. They lose their sleep. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen. Listen to where I'm going with this. They don't lose their sleep like over that. Right? I don't like where you You want. lose your sleep over guys like Lamar Jackson, guys like Jalen Hurts, to where everything is covered first down. 50 yards later. Those are the scary quarterbacks. You are, as a defensive coordinator, you play defense. You would rather play a passer than a guy that can all do day. all of that. All day. Right? And that puts fear in the defense, fear in the defensive coordinator because of what they can do. So these guys you named, to me, yes, they MVPs and all that. But if you're talking Lamar Jackson and you're talking Jalen Hurts, they put more fear into me than the Joe Burrows and the Justin Herberts, even though they are true passers because you have to cover everything. And it's a reason why... Look at that record. 12 and 1. 12 and 1. These other pocket passers and dudes y'all say is this and that, right? They got way more than one loss, right? <laughs> and Jalen Hurst is the pilot of this ship, and he can't be stopped, man. The final part is as disrespectful. <laughs> hey, you know who ain't scared? Michael Parsons. I'll give all the smoke. Oh, oh, we Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.